Hey guys, it's Kasara, and today I'm going to be doing a review for A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So this is going to be kind of a weird review because I genuinely enjoy this book. Like, I enjoyed it a lot. I switched between the audiobook and the physical book, which when I picked this up, I had a lot of physical books that I was reading at the time, and I just wanted something that I could listen to as an audiobook so that I had something to listen to when I wanted to listen to audiobooks and didn't have any other audiobooks to listen to. And then I ended up just reading this all the way through, even in my physical reading time, even though there were other books that I wanted to read more. So like I generally enjoyed this book in that aspect as it kept me wanting to continue on with this book and just sticking to this only. But when I went back and looked for what I actually loved about this book, I didn't find anything that I loved about this book. Like there was absolutely nothing that I loved about this book. There was absolutely nothing that I hated about this book either. I didn't feel very strongly in either direction with this book. There were things that I liked about it. There were things that annoyed me about it. There were a lot of things that I was just kind of very meh about. I was like, yeah, fine, that's cool. Like whatever. So this is gonna be a weird review because of that. I do think I should address that there has been some controversy of this book regarding race specifically because the main character is half Indian but people have complained that she's not Indian enough or whatever. Honestly as someone of Indian heritage who has zero ties to India and was raised in a majority white country I actually found this to be incredibly realistic so it kind of annoys me that other people are complaining about it if that makes sense. I don't know I wasn't offended by this book at all. I think as the main character was raised in a mostly white country by a mother who was white, it kind of makes sense that she wouldn't have as much Indian heritage in her. She actually does have a quite a bit because I mean, she speaks Hindi. Like, come on. Like, I don't speak Hindi. I know a few words here and there, but if we're going to watch a Bollywood movie, you need to put the subtitles on because I will not understand what's going on otherwise. So that didn't annoy me at all. Apparently there were other aspects of it that people thought weren't handled very well. I didn't see anything specifically. I didn't feel very strongly about that. In fact, I didn't feel very strongly about this book at all, but I do kind of see myself reading the next book in the series if there is another book in the series. It says lesson one and based off of what happened to this book I assume there's gonna be another book but maybe not. I don't know. We will see. Like I said I did enjoy a lot of aspects of this book. For those of you who don't know this is a dark magic school book following a character named Elle and it's a deadly education because in the school the kids are attacked by these things that kill more than half of them before the end of graduation which they're sent to the school because outside in the real world if they have magic they are attacked by these things and like half of the kids die so they're sent to the school to protect them except it happens in the school also like this is part of why this book is weird to me because it doesn't fully make sense I don't know it's kind of like a weird setup like it's a, like I love the trope of a dark magic school but like the actual setup of that seems very cheesy to me but like I enjoyed it in a guilty pleasure sort of way if that makes sense I don't know but like always I'm going to try and structure this review talking about character plot world building and writing so we're gonna start off with character so our main character Elle I actually do really like I do think there were some aspects of her character that would just like didn't fully make sense like apparently her magic is very destructive and she leans more toward killing people but she puts in a lot of effort not to do that so that like makes her a good person because her magic pushes her to kill people and yet doesn't I don't know I, I don't fully love the way the magic was done in here because it was it, it doesn't fully make sense I'll get to that in the world building section though L in general though I mean she's a strong and kick-ass female protagonist which is like what you would expect from a book like this I liked her. She was enjoyable. I didn't love her. There was nothing specific about her that I loved. She's realistic. She's kind of rude, but like in a funny way, sort of, maybe. There's a little bit of like a hate to love sort of romance in here, which I didn't love the way the romance was done. Like I liked the idea of the romance. Kept me on the hook, but at the same time, it was kind of cheesy in weird ways also. And then we of course have Orion Lake, who is the hero of the school and is kind of like a dumb jock, except he's also described as scrawny. So doesn't fully make sense. I mean, he's the hero of the school because he's very good at like saving people. So like he's kind of a hero, but he's also kind of scrawny, but like it's part of his magic that makes him very good at saving people. I don't know. He is a weird character because he doesn't really like anyone. He doesn't really hang out with anyone, but he, he kind of does. And he has a lot of support and everyone kind of thinks he's this like almost superhuman person. So I don't know. I liked both of them. I didn't love either of them. There are other characters in here. None of them really stood out to me at all. And like I said, the character relationship, I like the idea of it, but I, I didn't actually like the execution of it if that makes sense. So we're gonna talk about plot and I am not sure there was really that much of a plot in this book. There is a plot. Like there is one. It's just not one that you can guess ahead of time. It doesn't really have the foreshadowing there so you can't really see where this book is going and yet it's still not that surprising when it gets there if that makes sense. There's a lot of action in here but I think what makes action good 
is when you're anticipating it. Like half of what makes a battle scene really good is the anticipation of the battle and the anticipation of what's going to happen and the reaction to what's happening. But if you don't have the anticipation there, then the battle itself is just a battle. I mean, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of fighting, but it, there's not as much anticipation towards that until like very close to it. So like when it actually happened, I enjoyed it, but I didn't feel the plot moving towards that direction, if that makes sense. So I didn't really have a whole lot of opinions when it came to the plot. World building. That is where I think I have my most frustrations is with the world building here because the magic kind of makes sense. It doesn't fully make sense. It's like halfway between a hard magic system and a soft magic system. But while it kind of does have rules, we don't fully understand those rules. They're not fully explained. There are a lot of rules to the world and there's a lot of like cultures and things involved in the world. This honestly, this book felt like a massive info dump of world building. And at the same time, I still don't fully understand what's happening. And I don't fully understand why the world is the way that it is, if that makes sense. Like if half of the people are dying and you create this magic school to protect kids, then why didn't you fix the magic school so it would actually protect the kids instead of still letting half of them die? What? Why? Like this, the history here doesn't make sense. The school itself and how it worked doesn't make sense. I, I didn't love the world building, but it didn't frustrate me that much. Like it, it sounds like it frustrates me now, but like I didn't actually care when I was reading this book. Like I was reading it and I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That makes sense. Kind of doesn't, but who cares if it makes sense or not? Let's just keep reading. Like I don't really know why, but like it didn't bother me that much while I was reading the book. But after I read the book, I was just like, why? 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 So I kind of enjoyed the magic and how it worked, but I didn't think it was that ambitious either. Like, like their magical energy or whatever it is, is called mana, which just kind of made me think of Magic the Gathering. I mean, it is what it is. I, I didn't have an issue with that, but at the same time, I felt like it could have been a little bit more creative than that. And then their spells are written in all different kind of languages. The school kind of gives them the spells when they want the spells, but it only gives them spells in the languages that they know. So if they know a lot of languages, then they get better spells, but you have to understand the language fully to understand the spell. And there, there's like a lot of aspects to the world building that were interesting while I was reading it, but afterwards, I still don't fully understand why it works the way it works. The writing style. In some aspects, it really frustrated me. Cause like I said, this felt like a massive info dump of world building. Like that's what this book felt like. Even though there were characters and there were plots, I felt like the majority of what happened in this book was world building. And the parts that weren't world building, I think were like weirdly done. Like for example, the very beginning of the novel, our main character Elle is talking about how she wants to kill Orion Lake for saving her. Whatever, that doesn't make any sense either, but sure, she wants to kill him for saving her. Except she doesn't actually want to kill him for saving her. In fact, she never even gets close to killing him for saving her or even really thinks about it after that first time. So why was it so necessary to talk about that first time? It just felt like it was a hook that tried to grab the attention of the reader. And I guess it succeeded in it because I did continue to read this book and not care that it never got to around her trying to kill him. But at the same time, it, it felt like a misdirection in a bad way that I didn't like. Like by the time I got to the end of the book, I didn't appreciate that the book started out that way. I actually was kind of annoyed by it because it didn't fit in with the rest of the book. And I felt like that happened quite a lot when you'll get these instances where the author's like kind of like trying to hook the reader, but it doesn't really follow through fully. And I don't know, it, it was frustrating at times, but again, like I just enjoyed it. It didn't frustrate me enough to actually not like the book. I still enjoyed reading the book. I just didn't think it made sense. It also just didn't make me love the book either. I don't know. This was kind of like a rambly review, but either way, would I recommend this book to anyone? Probably not. Am I gonna read the next book in this series? Yeah, I probably will. I don't know if I'm gonna buy the next book in this series, but yeah, I'll probably read it because it was good enough that I can see myself enjoying this. As long as I don't think too much into this book, I can probably enjoy it. I don't know what that says about me, but I enjoyed it. I like the tropes in this book. Like I said, dark magic school, hate to love. Those are two of my favorite fantasy slash romance tropes. So because of that, I feel like this worked for me. And I do think Naomi Novik has a way of writing that keeps my attention the entire time. But pretty much everything else about this book, I was kind of meh about. So because of that, I'm giving this 3.25 stars. I think it's mostly because I actually found this book really enjoyable, even though I can't think of a single thing that I actually love about it. So yeah, this is a weird review, but I hope this helps you. I don't think it will, though because I don't have any solidified opinions on this book. But I'm hoping that when I do get to the second book, it'll kind of change my opinion of it this a little bit because the ending is intriguing. The very, very end. There's something that happens at the very, very end that I'm just like, ah, oh, man, now I'm gonna have to read the second book. But I I'm excited for that. This book was not great, but at the same time, really a 
entertaining. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you've read this book because I'd love to discuss it with you guys. I post videos on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so consider subscribing. And if you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.